Hey, what's up guys? I'm BTC. There was an update to the Overwatch PTR and it added a brand new map, Blizzard World, which is the one that they showed off at BlizzCon. And the map is really cool. I think it's really well designed. It looks amazing. I made a video about it. If you haven't seen it, go and check it out. I did a full guided tour, showed off all the cool stuff. So go check that video out if you haven't already. But today I need to talk about some not so cool stuff. Now, when I first looked through the Overwatch patch notes for the PTR, I didn't see any major hero balance changes or anything like that. You know, no definitive, you know, this got nerfed, this got buffed kind of deal. There was some bug fixes that changed a little bit, but nothing too amazing. Unfortunately, it seems like there has been a stealth or a hidden nerf to Moira that is just absolutely crippling to the character. So in a nutshell, what they did was they completely destroyed her right-click targeting. I'll fully explain that and why it's important in just a second, but first, I gotta get this off my chest, a little mini rant here. But this is incredibly frustrating for two reasons. One, why is it not in the patch notes? I simply fail to understand after all this time why Blizzard is so incapable of writing proper patch notes. It's not just Overwatch either, it's also an issue with Hearthstone, World of Warcraft, pretty much every game that they make, Blizzard cannot write proper patch notes, I don't understand. Please, go and look at some of the Dota 2 patch notes, those things are a thing of beauty, okay? There is over a hundred characters, tons and tons of items, map changes, all sorts of stuff, and it is beautifully written in these amazing patch notes. Blizzard, please, take a look at it, that's what you need to do. The second incredibly frustrating thing about all this is that it's not needed. Moira does not need a nerf. She is surprisingly one of the better balanced characters in the game. She doesn't need a nerf. She doesn't need a buff. The only thing she needs is some bug fixes so that she can actually target a Torbjorn's turret and not just be completely helpless whenever there's a turret on the map. All right, so let me show you some comparison on just how bad of a nerf this really is. So what you're looking at right now is Moira, live version of the game. And as you can see, her right-click damaging ability has a little bit of a lock-on to it, right? So as you move closer to the target, it will snap to it and kind of start attacking it. It's not nearly as good as Symmetra, but it's a tiny bit better than what Zarya has. Now we're going to move over to the PTR. And as you can see, the vast majority of that snap is just gone. Like, there is no snap, there is no auto-targeting to it whatsoever. You have to basically have pinpoint accuracy in order to actually deal damage. Now, this is worse than what Zarya has, okay? So Zarya has more of a leeway than Moira does now, right? So what this means is now Moira has basically the most difficult tracking attack in the entire game. And if it was a high damage DPS character, then that would be fine. But it's not. It's a support character who does a very small amount of damage. Now I know some of you might be saying, well, Moira's a support, so it doesn't matter that she doesn't do damage. No, that's wrong. And the reason being is because Moira's healing is on a resource meter and you have to deal damage in order to build that resource meter. So it's not like Mercy or Ana or Zen or Lucio, right? They have infinite healing. They can just heal forever, forever, forever. It doesn't matter. But with Moira, she has to be able to deal damage in order to actually heal. So if it's extremely difficult for her to deal damage, she's not going to be able to heal anyone. That resource meter is almost always going to be completely empty, and she's essentially going to be useless. This is so incredibly frustrating because the character was in a really good spot, and now they're basically giving her the Doomfist treatment. I mean, look at the new characters that Blizzard has released. Sombra, Doomfist, Orisa. They all have some of the lowest pick rates in the game and some of the lowest win rates in the game, right? They're basically in the garbage heap. They're almost not used at all. The only one which managed to escape was Ana, and Moira was looking like she was actually going to be useful and a good balanced character as well, but then you have Blizzard come along and do this sort of stuff, and I just don't understand why. It doesn't make any sense. Now, it's entirely possible that this is a bug, and it's not meant to be like this, and I really hope that it's not. But I want to remind you guys that Blizzard 
does have a habit of making stealth nerfs to characters and then they just don't say anything until people actually point it out and like, hey, is this supposed to be like this? And then Blizzard will come around and say, oh yeah, 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 we, we just never told you guys. We just nerfed that and we just never told you. So as it is right now on the live version of the game, I think Moira is a very well-balanced character that has a lot of potential. If this PTR change goes through, I think she's going to end up in the garbage bin, just like Doomfist and Sombra and Orisa. What do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to check out my Discord server. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that stuff. The links are down below. Thanks for watching. Remember, always, always blame the controller because it's never your fault. Also, special thanks to all my Patreon supporters for helping to make this all possible. If you'd like to see what kind of cool rewards you can get for supporting the channel, check the links on screen and down below.